Good afternoon. So when I came back uh, to Temple University, uh, when, I, when I initially came to Temple University, I didn't want to be here. I wanted uh, to, to leave. I wanted to get a job. I wasn't somebody who had a silver spoon in his mouth. Um, I had no scholarships. I had no money. I had been poor all my life. And nobody had told me that if you want to go to college, you're going to have to be broke for a while. Um, and so I decided to leave. I went. I got a job with the police department. And my life began to spiral out of control. Um, the hobbies that I'd had, uh, drinking quarts of beer because 40s weren't out yet. If you're from the hood, you'll get that. Um, became habits. And so those habits uh, began to drag me down. You know, I look at the, the heroin epidemic now and I think about myself because uh, I was one that was caught up in, in the other drug epidemic, the one that happened in the 90s, the one that involved crack cocaine and some people sold it and some people used it. I was on the using end. And my life just spiraled downward. First, uh, the job was gone, and then the car was gone. And once the car was gone, the girl was out. She was like, peace, good luck. <laughs> and I ended up on the streets. And there were people who loved me more than I loved myself, who cared for me more than I cared for myself. My mother is one of them, and she's here this afternoon. My mother, Carolyn Jones, who prayed me through along with my aunt Juanita Bryant, who, who prayed me through, and my father, who came to the corner and, and asked me if I needed help, and I said, I'm not ready yet. So when I came back to Temple University, it was with an earnestness. Um, it was with ambition. It was with a drive that had come from uh, seeing what it's like to have nothing. Uh, and so I came back, and, and it seemed like the lights just went on. I met this young lady and uh, she um, was beautiful and she was broke too and so all I had to buy her was a sandwich and <laughs> we were able to start dating and um, I had started writing this story that, that became uh, something longer than a story and I showed it to her and she said, wow, you have talent. And again, uh, she would work for food. So, we, we would be at my house, um, my mother's house to be exact, and I'd be on one side of the room at, with a computer and she'd be on the other side of the room with a red pen going through it. And we went through five drafts and I sent it out again and again and again and it got 10 and then 20 and then 39 rejections. Once I got an agent, it got another 11 rejections. Um, but then it fell into the hands of someone named Manny Barron at Random House. Um, who said, wow, this is great. And, and that became my first novel. And because that young lady at Temple did such a wonderful job editing that first novel, I decided I would marry her. And, <laughs> and we've been married for 16 years. We have two beautiful children together. I have another grown child uh, from before my marriage. And so what I learned on the streets, what I learned um, in having nothing, what I learned in almost giving up was that struggle makes you stronger. And so there are three things for me that, that, that I look to and, and that I appreciate about um, where I have been able to go and, and where I ultimately hope to go. Um, I appreciate God, I appreciate goals, and I appreciate guts. Because it takes guts to walk away from uh, a life that was dragging you down. It takes guts to walk away from the places that you used to go, the, the places that you used to be. And so when I do my work, when I write for the Daily News or for Newsworks or for WHYY, and when I'm on the air at WURD or NPR or CNN or any of the other places that have featured my work, it is about helping that next person who might be in that dark place where I was to find God and find goals and find guts. And so I want to thank all of the people who have allowed me and helped me to get to this point. My mother, Carolyn, my aunt, Juanita, my father, Solomon, my children, Adrian, Eve, and Solomon, who have taught me how to be a man. Lynn Washington, who plucked me from a homeless shelter and published my first article, Black in the System, in the Philadelphia Tribune. 
and Michael Days of the Philadelphia Daily News and Tim Whitaker of the Philadelphia Weekly and Arlene Morgan who mentored me and encouraged me um, as I began my career. And Sarah Lomax Reese who took a chance on someone who had never done radio um, and, and brought me into WURD as uh, the morning host where I do work that uh, works on politicians' nerves. <laughs> and I'm proud of that. And so I want to thank, finally, um, Temple University for allowing me and helping me to be someone who is, in fact, Temple Made. Thank you.